In this video, I want to show you where to check for that, the um, auto captions. So this is one of my YouTube videos and I've got the captions on, as you can see, the video is paused. When I click on the little gear icon next to it, I can see that those are the, that's the only caption track available. It's just this one caption track, English auto generated. If there had been another caption track available, then I'd see it just listed here as English. Maybe it would be the only one available, um, or maybe there'd be two caption tracks, one that was auto-generated and one that had been edited. So because this is my video, I can edit these auto-captions, right? So I can add punctuation and capitalization and check for the accuracy. Maybe it didn't auto-transcribe every single word correctly. And the way to do that is to, because it's my video, I have this edit video button. I'm going to click on that. And then I'm going to click on this link that says subtitles. You'll see that there's actually, let me minimize this a little bit so you can see that better. There's this one that is automatic. That's the one that we were looking before at before that's published. And then it's asking me, do I want to add another one here? If I do this, it's going to be typing it all out from scratch. It'll also let me click on this published link though and edit these ones. And that way I don't have to start from scratch. So now I have an edit button. And I can go in and add my capitalization. In this video, I'll show you how to install and set up the Canvas student app, period. The Canvas, so you can see it's just a matter of going in and it's available for free, da da da, on all YouTube. So it did get some capitalization and install it on your mobile device. So you get to go through here and make your edits. Once you're done doing that, you're going to hit the button that says Publish Edits. Now you'll see we have two caption tracks, right? There's the English automatic that we had before, and then there's the English. Now what I like to do is actually delete the original automatic one so that if anybody turns on captions, they're my correct, accurate captions that I've edited. So you can go into English automatic, unpublish, and delete draft, delete draft. Now what we're seeing is just the one caption track and it's not automated, it's mine, the ones that I created. Now when we go back to the video, to watch the video, we see that we're seeing we're seeing the capitalization there, so we're already seeing the updated captions. And the subtitle track, it's still at one, right? So I created one, we were at two, and then I deleted one. Notice how it says English there instead of English auto transcribe. Okay. So that's a real quick video on um, finding that um, whether your captions are auto transcribed or not, and then quickly how to edit those and how to delete the auto transcription. Hope that helps, and thanks for watching.